I was only expecting it to be a like recon mission, but it, uh, the plans changed multiple times, and it turned into a combat mission, and we were basically left behind by the Ukrainian military um, while they were retreating. Um, and in in hindsight, now I I see again like a lot of the corruption, the incompetence of the Ukrainian military, um, like through my travels of uh, Ukraine. Um, for the approximate two, uh, two and a half months, I've, I've seen a lot of, again, like incompetence, uh, corruption, how much they don't care about foreigners, how much they don't care about their own troops. And then I was captured on uh, June 8th. When I was eventually uh, surrendered and captured, uh, again, I was expecting just to be killed on the spot. But I was treated uh, humanely, uh, uh, like, like nicely, um, and I wasn't expecting that. When I was eventually transported to uh, across the border into Russia uh, at my first prison camp, um, I was put in the tent with other Ukrainians, um, and they told me stories about how basically like their command just doesn't care about them, like territorial defense, and like again that like broke my heart um, because they just left them behind as they did me in Kharkov.